Hello and welcome to CCTV number five, Cinco de Juno. Juno. Why would you start off with like a Spanish like saying like that when we're in Chinatown? Because well, this that's is Los thing. Angeles. That's the thing. It's a mixing pot of cultures. James. That's the thing. Ignorance is what that is. Where are we? I mean, this is a great spot. You really right lecturing here. me on ignorance? I know. Oh, I know I'm shady. Cultural that's ignorance. That's the difference. I know I'm ignorant. <laughs> Oh, and how, it's, it's, how it's, it's empowering that must be for you. <laughs> it's blissful, right? Yeah, man. yeah ignorance. Is, ignorance is I just had to, like we this. had to go haggle some of the shop people over there. I don't think you know the there. word haggle. Yeah, it does, man. Yeah, it does. Haggle isn't somebody selling you something and you just say, okay. What's our locale today, Brett? <laughs> Where are we at? We are, in fact, currently in a back alley of, of Chinatown. Not, not that far back. Uh, we're kind of in an area where a lot of these uh, uh, restaurants and shops have become gallery spaces. It's kind of a hip little alley. What movie do you think was filmed here? Because Rush Hour was filmed over there. Yeah. La La Land was filmed over there. Yeah. Was something filmed here? This is sort of, the, I mean, probably. This is the very touristy, on camera kind of heart of this Chinatown area. People also live right here. Yeah, they also actually, live above right. these galleries. There's, there's like windows that are there's open. There's people probably there's looking out right yeah, there. They're probably looking out. There's always like peeking out. Look at that. There's a lot of birds chirping in the eaves. The Lotus Festival that happens is uh, happens kind of in that corner. Wait a minute. That that do they take the dragon out, through Look here? Look at that bird up there that's just fucking sitting there just going off. Screaming at us. He's pissed. He thinks you're hearing hey. his eggs. What if it falls? What if it's a baby and it just falls from there? That'd be a sad part of this podcast. It'd be like when we went to Boston and saw that bird that had just oh, frozen yeah. to death on the ground. Oh, yeah. Let's never go back to Boston. I forgot <laughs> about the frozen death bird. That was rough, dude. Can I go back to Boston in like June or something? Why so, what happened last last podcast? That was terrible. Train wreck, literally. Yeah, uh, we have no viewers anymore after that one. They all left. They tune in to see us like crash and burn, though, and that's what that was. That was like the cool. What if I hung out? That's for everybody that thought like it'd be so fun to hang out with Couch Hop for a day, but then you actually realize how awkward and stressful it would be for you for like two hours straight of us yelling at each other in front of you. But we got a yep. couple. We got a couple good examples before that of just us being some really cool, chill dudes, just hanging out and having a good conversation. We've never been chill and we've never been cool. So, well, speak for if yourself. We, if we misrepresented that somehow, I'm sorry. I know that you're over that hump, but I'm still cool and I'm still hip, it's, and I still know it's what so the kids cool like. So cool and hip, I still yell at Microsoft <laughs> press conferences. You oh, still, is that you? Yeah, so that was you. That's just keeping the trend alive. Were that you, was were totally you me. For Minecraft or against Minecraft? I yelled, uh, "I love Minecraft," and uh, it kind of translated as like "Go Minecraft" because I guess like you could only catch the tail end of it. Right. But yeah, that was that was me. Do you, was so like during that presentation. First of all, you went right. Was for, people for the doing first Snapchat time stories? in like what was it been like three years I think because we skipped last year altogether. Right. We yeah. didn't go. The year before. Uh, we only really went to the event itself. We skipped the press conferences. And the year before that, like 2013, we did, like I did yell. So it was just kind of like a callback, right. you know? But so yeah. E3 is going on right now. Yes. Um, I guess that's really the only timeline. And there was a video of you on YouTube screaming during the Minecraft of, for Microsoft. At this right? point, I could like, I could fart someone's way. How do they and know it'll it's get him? posted into its own fucking he video. Was, it was just very loud. And they they, they showed a picture and he was just screaming in the distance. Yeah. Oh, 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 you could actually see him. I was him up in on the balcony again. Like where I was before, I was up on the balcony and I just kind of like shouted out because I figured people would be trying to listen to see if they could hear me. Yeah. I shouted at Phil Spencer a lot, trying to get like his attention because he's always, he likes that. You know, I feel like he, he likes to, he li man, did you see the ovation he got? Like everybody was just drowning him in, in, in cheers. Why? Because he's the head of Xbox, so like everyone Just was like, Phil Spencer. They yeah, should have booed him when he released the name of that new console. Yeah, I agree. That name was kind of meh, but yeah, like, I don't know why they named it that. Like they only, they're like, we use the coolest letter of the alphabet, which is X, and we use the coolest number, which is one. So now we have to go back. It. That's it forever. It's just combinations. One X X one X X X X X one one X. Like a gamer tag, like a gamer ta like a gamer tag that's been taken by multiple people, and you have to somehow get that name. Yeah, that's pretty much what they were going for. It's really for. sad, like when you want it, like back in the era where you were like a YouTuber, and you're like, Death Slayer, eighteen. <laughs> Speaking of though, the the so the content creator section was like, it dwindled down. Like there's like, I was looking around, and I was just like, like 
where are the content creators at? And I mean, there wasn't that many of them. There was like maybe four or five rows of content creators. But then again, I think some of the other guys, like the Hat Films guys, I guess were down below. So maybe there were more. But in that content creator section, there's like four or five rows, and then they filled in the rest with like industry folks. Is like, E3 dead? I feel like E3 is they dying. Can, it's really? dying for us. It to the public, That's though. what I mean. It's dying for us. That would be the we, clickbait title of this was like Inside Gaming. That's kind of what I did. I was, was kind of nice. hoping the name of this podcast would be this <laughs> E3. But dead. we named the podcast The Location. We so shift our ad. Yeah. We said, fuck you, SEO. Yeah. What if yeah, there's no way to search sure. Why would they do that? Why would they let anyone in? More like, money, man. Those tickets, the tickets for yeah, a regular that's... consumer pass is like, it's like over a hundred bucks. It's probably oh, so they it's, make it's a good bit. Yeah, I mean, it started to be a, a point where like the media passes didn't do a whole lot anyway, mm -hmm. and it kind of felt like if you're media, you're almost like a, you know, just a regular consumer. Yeah. So now at least you can have media passes, and it almost feels like all the YouTubers that's took the, matter, the, but you don't. the press yeah. down and dragged yeah. it from heaven into the stench piss filled alleys of earth. Pay us to talk about games. We had a good like couple <laughs> years of a good like uh, we had we had like uh, what's the word? Miyamoto knew us by our first name. We had Let's privilege. We had privilege, so yeah. We no. met Reggie the one year when we got we behind got, closed doors for from Nintendo <laughs> stuff. You did meet Reggie? Yeah. What'd you say? I don't know if he was there. Uh, you I wasn't there. He wasn't there. I, I wanna yeah. I was like there. No, it was like it was back when Nintendo was cool with YouTubers and they let people in and like we were playing I think it was when the Wii U was coming out and uh, they did a behind closed doors thing. It was the same stuff that they had playable on the floor, but we just kind of went back behind and played the same games, but there was no line. And then Reggie, Reggie randomly came up like while we were back there and like, you know, introduced and, and you know, gave us all firm handshakes and stuff. It was pretty cool. Is he big did he, in real life? Was he like, I look forward to working with you guys kind of thing? It was thing, like, this is like, the first and last time I'll ever see yeah. you because Nintendo will hate us next year. So did I didn't he, anticipate that, but. Does Reggie look like tough? He would like no. manhandle man you with his firm handshake. He just he just seems like a really like you know like a nice chap like a guy that like you know he would he try to kind of he try to sell you on his product but he wouldn't like make it so in the forefront that you would feel you know abused or or you Taking know advantage yeah of. yeah you wouldn't feel like he was he was doing it to he you. Wasn't trying to manipulate you. Yeah, okay. it's just kind of like oh you like the Wii U huh? Well you should buy one of those <laughs> you know something like that. All right. Very nice guy. Are you guys going to any E3 parties? Right? Well, Brett told me to RSVP to like any of them that I could, so that's all I did. Well, for the free. But we don't want to go. I'll yeah, go. I, don't I don't want to go to any go. parties. When you go to like a convention and you go to like Seattle or Boston, there's like nothing else you're going to be doing with your time, then they're really fun. But when you're, you live here and you could just like enjoy your Wednesday night rather than go to some party where everyone's tryharding. And the parties are all tryharding. That is like, kind of nice though. Here now it's like, go, you can just you just go back home. Like you, you don't have to stay for an extended mm. period of time. Like I went to the press conference and I fucking left the press conference and that was it. So it was like, done our, deal. Our party has stilt walkers and, yeah. and an alchemist making special. It's like, I don't <laughs> care. I did, never cared and I'm going to go home and just enjoy my life. I do see yeah, that because everyone's nice. kind of like starting to pull in here. You know when we go to Seattle, everyone's like, PAX West, like all the people you follow. And now it's like, E3, I'm at E3. But I'm just, we're down the street, and I don't really feel like going. Yeah. But I see all like the, the drunk tweets, and like the, the party invitations, and, and the party yeah, videos. Yeah. All those things. <laughs> it's, not, it's, it's almost triggering more than it is like, a me wanting to go. Like I don't want to go to an E3 parties. But I see everyone talking about E3 parties. Yeah. But if I went, I, like, if I went to PAX, I'm, I'll be the guy talking about the parties. You know what I mean? Yeah. So That's it's right. like, it's I don't know. It's almost contradicting, I guess. Totally understand. Yeah. Out of out of film here in this alley. Yeah. Okay. We just saw because it was closed. We could just chill. So we can we'll bounce. No worries. Right. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. <clears throat> See, now we gotta move anyway. <laughs> Somehow I felt that would be returning. As I felt that vehicle blow a blast of cool wind past my, my face, I said, he will return. <laughs> All right. Oh boy. Let's go. Oh, got kicked out. Do you wanna go to the other place? Yeah, I mean, that guy patrols down all through, like he goes across the street, goes down that way too, so. Yeah, now we should probably use your spot. Okay, we'll go the extra distance. Well, that was cool. We got Only a matter of time before we get kicked out of some, some <laughs> location. Do you know how long that was? 
Uh, oh shit, that, that was it? 10 minutes? 10 minutes. Fuck. Fuck us. <laughs> Crime is becoming America's number one problem. Help turn the tide and become part of America's private security force. Train at ABC Tech. Have the power to arrest. Learn self-defense, firearms, tear gas, batons, CPR. Train at ABC Tech. Well, we can do a tour now since apparently we're just still live on CCTV. Here we've got a beautiful fountain. You may remember from this the... This part sucks, dude. The <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. We already Joe's showed this in the video, this. too. Joe's been part of this podcast. He's not going to be talking for 30 minutes. <laughs> It's true. Should we? That's well, that guy. That, that was guy. the first time we've been thrown out of a CCTV location, so that's exciting. Is that like the Chinatown security? Like, yeah. is he? He is the Chinatown security. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he's just patrolling around, zooming around. You know. Mm -hmm. I knew. You were like, you were like, I was like, yeah, yeah. This is probably <laughs> for a second. I dared to dream. You know private security and help stop crime in America. This is the Ooh. business section of Chinatown. The town. This place is they had to. They had to have filmed a movie Look, here. It says no, Look, no bicycles, Robocop. skateboards, or rollerblades, but it doesn't say no cameras. Look, it's a Robocop. Blight. Where's fucking Robocop? They filmed Robocop here. Or, Where? Where? Look up. I can't, I can't really zoom. You can't? Oh. It says Robocon, you idiot. Oh. Fucking moron. <laughs> I thought it said Robocop. Yeah, well. Do you want a toy, Joe? What kind of toy? Right here, you got a toy. You want a toy? Oh. Look at that Hulk. I was eyeballing that Mario right there. That 30th, 30th right there? anniversary yeah. edition yeah. Mario. I do they have that. like, uh, do you think they have Zelda? I think they or do Star have Wars? Zelda, man. I think if you that want would a be Zelda, cool. we could buy you a Zelda. Yeah? Do you want a Zelda? That would be cool. Joe wants a Zelda. You want to get the Zelda? Yeah, he wants a Zelda. Here, dump all that stuff with me and go in and get Zelda. All right. The beauty of or CCTV like, or like, is that, that we're one person with one camera. You know, oh. this is cool. The fucking Transformer. He's gonna walk two in with that though. He's gonna walk chest. in with two cameras. Okay. Yeah, he looks cool right now. All right. Cool. Doesn't he look cool? Sure, man. We're not gonna be able to buy a Zelda, but <laughs> go buy a Zelda. All right, let's go buy. A or Zelda. not, or like n Legend of Zelda, like yeah, so you want to buy like, something like, like here a with Zelda? Goodbye. Yeah. Do you think there's anything that would tickle your fancy with Zelda? Hmm. I'm sure they do. Like they have to. They just announced the oh. brand new Dragon Ball Z game at E3. Did they? So like these are going to be hot ticket items pretty soon here. Is that guy's name the blue one? Vegeta? I Zorg. Zorg. Zorgon. You know, on CCTV, um, you know, you're not stuck on a set. You can just go and go about your business and film the podcast about your business. I don't think there is any. Like, they have a lot of like anime and stuff. and stuff. It's actually a pretty cool store. Yeah. Can I get something? Oh, Trevor, you can't fuck off. Because really, that guy did us a favor. Now we have two great locations for this episode. Like, yo, you got you saw that alley? Now check this out. Another place we're not supposed to be. <laughs> Dope. Sick. <laughs> I can't wait to relocate once again mm -hmm. the podcast. They're actually still inside the... How about this star right here? Want this? I want this. Yeah? I'm getting this. I'm gonna get Dude, this. They got, like a, gonna get this. they got like a model kit? That is so right, cool. Joe, I'm not buying you anything anymore. You'd take too long. I hope they buy like a 24-inch uh, Zelda statue that then we carry to the next location. That'd be we a deal for me. We could use the statue to balance one of the cameras on so Trevor doesn't have to hold three of them at once. They... Trevor forgot the tripod, so if we get a Ganon statue where his, his hands are flat, then we can put two cameras on Ganon. You can yeah, get, get the get Mario. I'll get you this, Joe. That's, you can have that. Oh, a fidget spinner? Yeah. Is that the color you want? Yeah, he likes that color. <laughs> Happy land. <sighs> this is a cool little toy shop, though. I do like it. Diamond in the rough here in the quiet back corner of this plaza. That's so cool. Stop picking stuff up, man. No, I'm just, there's a lot of, a lot of cool stuff in here. We have a podcast to do. Oh yeah, I forgot we were even filming that. All that matters is that the dude on his little future, future bot can't touch us here. His, his Sagway? Yeah. 
Just rolled on in like he owned the place, dude. Did he like loop or did he like circle us? He's like a vulture. He was like, yeah, he like went down and I was like, oh, we're cool because he didn't stop. But then he stopped again. It's like, he, what? Why he was even? making sure we didn't have a guy in a Segway to fight him. Right. Because we could have. We could have hired two guys on Segways just to beat the shit out of him. Could we have a Segway podcast where we drive Segways the whole time? We could. And just do that? Yeah. I feel like that would be more. I'll put that on the list. Because then they could be on a golf cart ahead of us. And then we just segue behind them for 45 minutes. And then we'd have, like, throughout the podcast, we'd have topic segues. I mean, there's just... My there's dude just, here with the vision. There's just so much you can do with that. There's so much you can do. How long, are, how long is this going to take, though? This, I mean, this bit's been too long. True. This lady's about to throw us out. Probably. There's a million in... Joe, come on. What are you doing? Yes. God dang. Back on the road again. On the road again. We'll wait until we get to our next location. Well. So you can show your purchases. Off Joe, to find. Joe, it. You fucking. Do me hold the bag? You fucking asshole. What? I'm like paying and he's like, I completely forgot that we were filming this. Right in front of the guy at the cashier. <laughs> yeah, after after uh, saying that, I was like, oh crap, I forgot you can't, I forgot you can't film. Jesus Christ, Trevor's standing right there filming. <laughs> that, that was a mistake. I, I, I forgot we were filming. <laughs> I thought we were done. Okay. Are we, so we're going, are we going out of Chinatown now? No. No, we're going into the overlook of Chinatown. Oh. We're going to a place with no Segway ramp, so there's no way he can get up to where we are. Cross the street. Ah! 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 I'm screaming. <laughs> Cinema land. <laughs> All right, throw a brick through this. I can't wait to this place. Is... I don't think we're in the good part of town anymore. This is still Chinatown. Is it? Yes. Oh yeah. Look, you can tell. See? Yeah. We're in the Chinatown uh, Look. residential areas right now. Oh. We still have the uh, Asian influence. What freeway is this, Lindsay? The 10? The 110 freeway, guys. Just like you heard about. What are we going to do it over here? Bye. This is going to be just as bad. Where are you going? Over there? No, or above? Test. Okay, here we are on the uh, side of the 110 freeway. We've been exiled from Chinatown. How does that happen? How do we get kicked out of Chinatown? We were run out by the Imp Emperor's Imperial Guard. Just fucking kicked us out. The Jade Temple. Now here we are in the fucking <laughs> outskirts, like peasants. We gotta live off the rice fields. This was a good idea for a podcast where we just, we don't really know where we're going. And then we just sort of end up in front of fucking hedges near an off ramp for a highway. You say you, know? you say we didn't know where we were going. We did know where we were going, and we got thrown out of two places. You can't really say, saying, oh, it's not the fault of us not knowing where we were going. It's like we got thrown I, out of the place. I meant like mm -hmm. us walking up the street, not knowing where we were going next. Yeah. You know what I mean? What was the and alternative? Laying down in the street and dying? Well, nobody was like, let's let's do it in front of hedges for next week's podcast. That's what I'm saying. You never know what you're gonna end. There's uh, a really random. nice little banquet area over there that looks like, you know, maybe there was perhaps a, a basketball wedding, some type or something like that over there. One of those infamous really? Chinese basketball weddings. Nice. You're marrying off like the uh, prime minister's daughter. Stuff. Yeah, show us the stuff you bought. An authentic Chinese shop on the way in Chinatown. We got authentic Chinese Mario. Uh, I got authentic Chinese Mario star. What makes him Chinese Mario? Because it's like made in China. The, the tag is like all in, um, in Chinese, so that's why. I got Joe, he was being very picky, so I got him a Power Rangers. Uh, Isn't that cool? Loyalty toy. Thank and you. And I got him one of these things. You I don't know, know what these here. are. I mean, I could do an unboxing. Oh, you or got I... a fidget spinner. Oh, oh is that what those things are? Yeah, bro. Yeah. yeah. You can. Yeah. I've heard about these. Woo. Yeah, he wanted one of those. Sadly, they didn't have any uh, Zelda stuff, so I don't know. Damn. 
Oh, look at that. Well, what were we nice talking gentleman. about before we were run off to our deaths? E3. 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 Right. Yeah, man, fuck E3. <laughs> There's nothing to talk about, you know? It's games. They come out with new games. They, they come out with a new console. Four new games. It's cool stuff, you know? Go to it if you like it. Don't if you don't. Um, I've just been, we've been going for so many years at this point where it's like all of them blend together. I think it's nice to go every once in a while now. Not so much. It's kind of like Comic Con. You go every once in a while because it really doesn't feel like it caters to what the fuck. Who the fuck our is that? Needs anymore. That's the Red Ranger, you moron. That that's doesn't, him. That doesn't look like him. Yeah, that's him, man. How do you know? There was like ten of them. What's his name? Jason. Jason was the first one. Then Adam, I think, or was it Adam? I don't know who the fuck the second one was. Yeah, I got to put no the helmet idea. on. Is his helmet gonna fit over his? Wait. Uh, oh, you, you gotta take it apart. Yeah. Yeah, E3. Didn't you guys do? Didn't That's you guys, pretty cool. Didn't you guys do something this weekend or something? That you chat about? We went well last we went to weekend. A pool party or something? We went to Splash House. Yeah. Splash House is out in Palm Springs. It's an all weekend music. Show you what Splash House is like. Music. Music festival. What the and fuck pool are you party. doing? Show you what, what you Splash House is like. What do you got? An STD? These legs. Wow! Oh. This is what happens Can when you, you don't put that? sunscreen on your legs. Is that an STD? This is what yeah, happens when you're standing on the edge of the freeway showing your burnt legs and your underwear to bystanders. Um, that looks like it hurts. How'd you get that? I sat in the, I sat in the pool like this for so long. You can get STDs that, like, I like think that? My legs just acted like Damn. solar panels for a few hours. Now, Did it reflect up? What? You said like a solar panel would reflect up, wouldn't it? He's taking so, it literally. Like logistically, like how he's it's taking it legs literally. Were... You called your legs solar panels. I meant like because they're, they're soaking up so much sun. Did you feel energy from the absorbed sun? <laughs> you get energy. Heat was radiating out of his sunburn. It probably still is. Yeah, it's that still is. That is cool. It burns a lot. I had a hard time taking a shower this morning because it's just, just, you know, I, I even had it like cooler water and stuff. You can like dangle, out. dangle your legs out of the tub, I guess, and just lay in there. I think what, aloe. Aloe lotion aloe helps. Aloe. Good. You need aloe. aloe lotion helps a lot. Aloe? But look, the rest aloe, of them is not aloe. burned. Aloe. 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 So you aloe. were describing it's what this aloe. was. Music aloe. festival? Aloe. Music festival? Is that it's, what it is? No, it's not. It's honestly it's like a glorified like college party. Yeah. Yeah. The music is all just like the shittiest house music, like the most repetitive shitty beats that just don't sound like actual songs. Was it like a Juggalo like thing? Unce, unce, unce. Juggalos. Yeah, were there? Yeah, uh, was it like do a juggalo Juggalos thing? exist? Like with the clowns? <laughs> do like, do like, Juggalos like, exist? Like insane clown posse? You're is from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. There's a lot of I've them I've never there, seen yeah. them before. No, you like house music? It's very like... like but there that. wasn't much music? No, there was a lot. That was the whole of, music. That the was whole like time. it. So yeah. it's like music where you're just like drunk in the pool and you're kind of just like... Right. But you're not like, oh, dude, this is my jam. And there's a whole bunch of people there, and they're all just there to get drunk and sit in the pool and, you know. Everybody collectively in one pool? No, there's three hotels and three pools. Really? And you can bounce around, and if you care about artists, go around and see that, or just drunkenly take the shuttle between different hotels and stuff. It's pretty cool. All these cars think they're going to, like, kill us because we're here on the freeway, or, like, we're bandits. Yeah. Hello. I said hi, hi. Hey there. What if yeah. we were just, like, bandits? And like, they hey, were trying thought to rob about his it? He's truck. like, whoa, whoa, wait. They're gonna rob my truck. Jesus, he's just fucking going right into that curb. It's fine. Yeah, so, so three pools, how many people do you think, like, being so pissed drunk, do you think they pissed in there? Dude, oh, there, there, was, there had course. to be a lot a of pee. I was drunk and I was like, I gotta go to the bathroom. But you pissed like in the pool? Well, I didn't, but I thought about it. Why not? Why not? Yeah, the chlorine kills it. Well, because I don't want to be near my friends, like, in a pool and I'm just pissing myself. Like, I, I feel, feel like the water get warmer and I look at him. Just and go somewhere guilty. else in the He's pool. Like, Just go to the opposite corner. But there's so many people in the pools, and then there's like floaties and stuff that, like, really big ones, like obnoxious ones that people are using. Oh. So it turns into like this, like death haven. In fact, there was a part at the beginning when I first got there, to, when I first jumped in the pool, I thought I was really cool, and I saw Brett. He was in he was in nine feet of water, but he was chilling on the side. So I thought it was like four feet. So I had my drink and my phone, and my plan was just to like. Walk in like Jesus and just slouch down. Uh huh. But instead, you just went, I just, just went, went all straight the way to down. The bottom. So I just went down. My drink went down. <laughs> my phone. My hat. What happened to your phone? 
It's waterproof or water resistant because it's a new iPhone. Interesting. Only but, at a certain. Uh, but my depth. screen's pretty fucked up, and like my my one of my cameras definitely got some issues with it now. So. Water resistant, not the same as waterproof. Let's just get that. I watched him just take full confidence, a step in, and then just watch the drink go under the water and come back up full of pool water. And I was the only one who saw it, and I was just like, oh. I was really embarrassed too, man. I mean, because I was I was trying to be cool. Yeah. I was just like, yo, what's up, Splash House? Yeah. Almost mid drowning, you know. Was, the pool is deep. It's really deep. It in was the pretty deep. Also, like, you'll go out and want to be like, I'm going to play with the floaties and, like, have a good time in the middle. You'll fucking die. Someone will, like, go over you with the floaty and, like, knock you down. It's like, you need a floaty if you're going to be in the floaty. Are there any, are there any lifeguards? Like, yeah, what if, like, somebody guards. actually drowns? You know there's, what I mean? Like, they're drowning. There's, like, six lifeguards that stand around the edge of the pool and look like this. Because they're, they're probably miserable. They're sober, yeah, they're, they're probably so miserable. Just sober and, and miserable yeah. around them. That'd be like, so miserable. She saw this girl. Yeah. There's this girl with like braces, so she was like some like I mean, she looked like she was like 13, and she was just standing here like, yo, I hope my life doesn't end up like these people. Just well, there's, like, like so miserable. Four or five dudes like behind her, like yeah. fucking jamming Ooh. out. Is it costly Ooh. to go? Kind of. Between the hotel room and like the ticket, and then like whatever you spend on food, beverages. So there's a, even though you're staying at the hotel, which is technically like what the venue, right? You still have to pay for a ticket on top of that. Yeah. Yes. Because then there's like Damn. the so I have it on the, the VIP oh, stuff. That's dirty. Dude, that it was like dirty. yesterday, man. I know. I'm just giving you. I'm just fibbing you. Just joshing you. I was worried about this moment. You're so not. I took no, mine hold on. Off. No, you're not. Yes, I didn't I want to get called out for no still having here. my bracelet, so I took mine. I don't. Off. I don't care enough to be Wait, like. But I look, hope no one notices how I went. I just to know party this guy. This James is a merciless observer. And yeah, I, it's true. Yeah. I, I'm surprised he just now noticed it, right? I mean, it could just be like a bracelet. It's very bright, vibrant. I don't know. Yeah, it looks it like all of that's intentional. I, I would not recommend going to something like that with Who? your friends. No. To him or to Why general, not? To anybody. Well, on the flip I side. I would go again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, we had a lot of fun. If you plan it in advance, like, it was way cheaper to, like, drink in our hotel room than it was if you just go there and drink at the bar all day. So, like, we managed it nicely. It could have been a lot more expensive. And it was fun. It's fine. But... To your average viewer, to James, who I know would have been miserable there all week, and you'd be like, dude, this sucks. I wouldn't even go. I know, exactly. But Again, at the same time this weekend, I didn't get to go to the races either. They were, having a, they were having a wine testing uh, expose. Oh no, was your horse racing <laughs> actually they canceled it? Was stifled? It, was, it, was, it was stifled, yeah, so I didn't get oh, to no. go. It's a difference of cultures, and I'll tell you, I'm gonna call something out. I saw it on the Reddit where someone had posted a picture of me and Alex drunk in you know, the pool or whatever, and someone was like, Man, I just don't know. Where's James in all these pictures? I know, I know James and Alex are best friends, but like, I just hope he's getting these invites. I really just, you know, I just, it, I get really uncomfortable when I see Brett and Alex hanging out and I don't see James in the picture. I can go. You guys to ask One, me. mind your business. Two, you think we can't handle our friendships? You think we don't know that what James enjoys doing with his free time? That I know that he'd much rather be at a nice horse race, betting, doing a little gambling on the east side, and I'm like, Alex, let's go swim in piss water and... You know, live our lives. The amount of money you guys spent there, I would just bet on the horse. That's right. probably what I would. And that'd like be the do. exchange. It's like and I, I, I wouldn't bet on the horse, but I feel like I'd, I'd invest in something worse than that. Yes. You know. And I'm like Blade. I'm like the Daywalker. I'm like a little bit of this, a little bit of this. We're gonna be scumbags this weekend. Oh, we're gonna go have a nice time with the horse race. I've also known Brett longer, I guess technically. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I knew you before I knew actually, anyone of any of the creatures. That that is accurate. That is true. I think about it. But, you know, you know what I shouldn't forgot? worry about James. You know what I forgot, though, for real? I forgot Joe was on this fucking podcast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I was trying to hey. stop for him when hey. you guys were talking about the party. I was going to say, uh, on the flip side, Joe went to uh, Botanical Gardens. Yes. That's quite on the tame side, so explain yeah, yeah, that. that was Please pretty, talk that, about that for so, more than a second. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you guys would like it, but it was pretty cool. Was Why like, wouldn't we like the botanical gardens? Yeah, Brett, 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 Brett just said he goes on both sides. Right. Um, would you? I mean, it's pretty much like, like the nature side of it, I guess. Like, do you, you like that? <laughs> really? He eats do that. I, yeah, oh I, yeah, you I'm, are I'm, a vegetarian. I'm basically though. a druid. Yeah. He eats it. But yeah, you just pretty. I mean, he's pretty yeah. self-explanatory. You just walk through like big gardens and shit. I've been to the botanical garden. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I'm more curious why you think Alex might, like, why would Alex would you not like, would you, I don't know if you... Is there strippers there? No. Is there house music? Is no. Cool? It's quiet. There's, no, like, no people. There's a designated no Africa section. See, I, that, I'm interested in that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're interested in African cultures? You know, I've been to Africa. Would you guys ever really? like to take a trip there? I told you I, I would like to do that I'd go. at some point. Yeah. I think that would be cool. What would, what would your, what would be a number one on your goal list? 
when you go to Africa? I'd go to Kilimanjaro. Like you'd straight up. You would climb Mount Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro. Yeah. He's actually been talking about that since it's a medal in Halo. You know, he, he, yeah, he got Kilimanjaro. The idea that. <laughs> yeah. So he was like, yeah, I want to do that. It's He's also name dropped in Toto's Africa, the song that everybody knows. From you. Great. How about you? What? Go there? Yeah. No, absolutely not. To to out of the comfort zone, kind of like, eh, it's a lot, I gotta, it's like, yeah. it, it was a 12 hour flight to London, then a 12 hour flight to <sighs> South Africa, and then a, Damn. an eight hour car ride to Botswana, or whatever the fuck it was. I wanted to die by the time we actually finally got there, but then it was fun. I mean, they got nice animals there, right? I was chased by two hippos and a kayak, Damn. one crocodile, and then at one point, me and Alex were sitting on top of our safari car like idiots, and there was a lioness. And we were like kind of testing it, like, this oh, is this a is different cool. Alex, right? This is a different Alex, different yeah. Alex. But she looked at us, and I had one of those moments where I was like, we shouldn't have done this. <laughs> and it crouched down. But you know how cats have that thing where they like pounce? Well, then just be like, they oh, give up. I got bored. Yeah, I actually yeah, don't yeah. care about you. She did that to us. So she saw us, and I stared into her golden eyes, and she crouched down, and I was Ooh. like, ah, oh, man, maybe. Uh, and then she was like, and she rolled under her back. And just rolled in the shit. sun. I was like, cats are scary. <laughs> but you could have those Damn. experiences. I, 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 the crocodile was coming for me. I had to pick my kayak up and run onto a little bank because we were kayaking down the uh, Nile? Okavango oh. Delta. Okavango Delta. You just want to live. You're ready to live those life adventures. No, I just. You're ready I, to I, die. No, I feel, like if, <laughs> I feel like if you have a cool tour guide or something, you could have cool stories. I don't, I don't want to get chased by a hippo. That Dude, aren't hippos fun. like the most dangerous right, animal? That, that sounds pretty fucking It was bizarre. terrifying. We had to use this boat. There was like a motorboat falling behind us and it had to catch up to us and like run the hippo off with noise. <laughs> Not that the hippo couldn't have flipped it over, but like it just kind of annoys it enough that it stops. But it, the male hippos will like, they'll see you and then they'll submerge and you see like the Godzilla swell coming towards you on the water and then they'll re-emerge. And that's like what oh. was scary. That seems very like, scary. I saw it and then it went under and then it came up over here and then the boat kind of like cut it off while I was like, fuck, fuck, fuck. But it's cool. Shit. But it's cool. <laughs> Afterwards, it's cool. In the moment, it's not cool. I don't yeah. know. I, th I think like. I'd go so, though. Yeah, yeah, I feel, I feel like you'd go. be up for it. I'd go, I'd go. You'd go? I'd go to Africa, yeah. Was there anything else yeah. at the botanical gardens that stuck, stuck out to you? I mean, it was more like relaxing. Like, I felt like LA is so like crazy and there's so many people, and then you go in there and there's like no one. And that, that's the cool thing about it, I think. Yeah, it's chill. It's yeah. a very chill. Yeah, it was did, you like go relaxing. With, did you go with anybody or did you go yeah, with Yeah, I, I went with my girlfriend. Yeah, that's, that's a nice yeah. little couple. Nice little date. Go relax. It's fun. Hell yeah. Well, that's nice good. Look at this. See, we've all got our own cultures, our own little interests. Nobody needs to worry. We're all pals. I wanted to go to Splash House. <laughs> <laughs> on my long list of things, activities, I would put you on a short list for. I think Splash List would honestly actually probably be at the bottom. Yeah. And I, and that's just, and that's actually being your friend is being like, I won't even invite you to Splash <laughs> Cause I knew how miserable you'd be. So. I, did, I did a lot of like Instagram stories. I don't know if you guys saw any of them. Yeah. No, I don't follow you on mm -hmm. social media. No, I didn't see them. No. There's, Damn. That's, that's, yeah, that's pretty fucked up that you don't, don't follow me on you social media. You just post media. too much. You, I post too much? The thing is, most of the time you post, you post where I'm there too, so I can see you taking the pictures. So like, I don't, like it, it's not in my interest to see the, the end result of the picture when I was there seeing you take the picture. Oh, really? Yeah. A lot of people want to see the picture and the end result of whatever was taken. I, mean, I saw the process up to it. I don't, I don't know. I don't want to see the end result. I take a lot of pictures when I go out just because I, I know. I, yeah. I, 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 I like when people show me pictures, they're like, oh, look, this is a cool picture of you. And I'm like, oh, I don't remember that. Or maybe I do. And I'm like, oh, nice shot. And so I like sending people pictures. I think that's cool. Like, I'll just take a bunch. You know? That's what I kind of did. Like, people show me, hey, here's a picture of you passed down the ground wearing Brett's wolf head mask. And the story with that was, like, a security guy was telling you to leave and people took pictures with you on the ground. He was kind of memeing. At one point, he just wanted to, like, take a nap. So he, but he laid down like he had passed out, was holding his beer on the nice, cool pavement and people would come up and be like oh shit and they take photos with him but like it was fine how many people were memeing over there like like straight up memeing yeah uh it's it's hard it's hard to say honestly because it's all like it's still fresh but it's still very hazy because of how much alcohol was consumed it's understandable yeah but i, I definitely saw some memes i think i don't know it's also it's also palm springs which is like a couple hours ride 
which I, I've liked so far going out of LA. I think it's been my favorite part of LA. It's leaving LA. Yeah, for I feel a few like that days. as well. Every time I've every time I've left this central area, I've seen nice places, and uh, then I wonder why we live here. And because uh, there's no business for you out in the desert. I know. I know. Yeah. But, there's no industry out. Know, in, it's just, in, uh, <laughs> it's desert. just, it's just like there's just nicer areas that look relatively normal, you know. There's, there's, there's Tokyo Joe's out there, I'm, uh, outside they're the border. They're building one here, though, right? I uh, maybe I don't know. You guys are you're investing in a Tokyo Joe's. I think yeah, you I should. Try to keep I up would. to date with all the Tokyo Joe's. Uh, I happenings. definitely miss Tokyo you're Joe's. You're gonna open your own franchise? Would that be a dream of yours? If I could, yeah, if I could buy one, that would be great. You should. But there's only like one or two out here. I know. Three? That's what I mean. You could. Push the franchise. I'd Would like you that. buy that or a Buka de Beppo? Buka, no, no, Bukas are going out. Yeah, they're going out of business. Money in the Buka. There's they're, they're like, dying. It's like a dying breed. Could turn the business Bu- model around pretty quickly. I could man. They have you walk through the kitchen when you walk in the door. It's you like, have to become just, the CEO. That's the first thing Buka I would get rid of. Yeah. To change Buka culture. But it's if you like Tokyo the Joe's, it's the franchise. <laughs> yeah, Tokyo Joe's already has like a nice setup. Except everybody out here just doesn't know what the fuck to do. It's like when you go to a, like a, I guess, a relatively new restaurant. Because there's so many in Colorado. We knew the deal. We'd get it for lunch. We'd order, boom, 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 boom. We got all orders in. But out here, nobody knows. They're just like, how do you order? You select your protein. You do what? You do what after this? Like, no one it's understands like it. It's and shit, though. That's pretty yeah, you, have to, you have to go the surprised. first time to figure it out. Yeah, and people after don't that, know what they're, what they're doing. I remember my first time being like, because like, it is a little weird. What? They have to explain it. They have, like, a, a, like a instructions there, which they didn't have in Colorado. They had, like, an instructions of how to order there. Oh, did they? Yeah. Really? Well, I was talking to yeah. Joe a little bit. I feel, like, I feel like you guys miss Colorado. You're going to move back to Colorado. I do. I, I visited, Joe, like... Joe talked a little bit about moving back to Colorado. I feel like Colorado. you I, fucking miss it, too. I do miss it. I like I liked my, my area. I liked how much I paid for rent. I think housing is the big... <laughs> housing, yeah. Housing has been the big thing. Well, just because I could, like, I could go to the mall, which had, like, all the stores. Yeah. I, I had my favorite restaurants. Yeah. And then, like, if I felt like going downtown, I'd go. You could. It was manageable, it, right? Yeah, yeah. It was just a good spot. I don't Y'all know boys I, need to get out of your comfort zones. You're like a bunch of old, old we men did. here. How long have you been living in LA for? Ten years. Isn't that your comfort zone? Yeah, why don't you get out of your comfort I zone? I did. I else. moved from Colorado and then at, I moved out with some people to North Hollywood and then lived by myself in downtown fucking shitville, Los Angeles. Well, and right, I was like, right. I am well out of my comfort zone I know now. where you're going with this, but like, you know James, and you know me pretty well. And I mean, you're starting to know, I guess you know most of the guys. But you're like as old as I was when I moved here. You think I'm the same person I was when I moved here? You think I didn't have a comfort zone when I moved? And now... Did, did you want to move back, it, though, I to Colorado? Or you just were, like, thing. out and you're like, I don't want to go back. Hey, I what if I, I just don't want to be as hard and rugged as, as you? Like, if I'm just, like, I just don't... I don't want to follow the same path as Brett. <laughs> 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 not, not to be mean. No, I just don't, I don't want to follow... But how will you know? How will like you this? know until you Enjoy try? a podcast like this. <laughs> <laughs> if I told my 23-year-old self that... You'd be doing a podcast. <laughs> Ten years later, <laughs> I'd be sitting on right the now. off-ramp of the 110 listening to three 20-year-olds talk about Tokyo Joe's. I might have just killed myself <laughs> on the spot. It's so good, though. It's just so good. It's okay. Dude, I, mi- I miss so Tokyo good. Joe's. Yeah, it's all right. It's so good. All right. Well, listen, we're going to bring you out to the desert. For all those people that are worried about you missing out on adventures, how about on a future CCTV we bring you out there? You get a little taste of that. Desert life. I love the desert. It's very fun. There's even less out there, though. Like, what? No, you're going to see just see the sights, see what it's like. Get a little of that desert wind blowing through you. A little, it'll cleanse you of all this city life. Is there gambling over there, too? And there is gambling. I'll go. Yeah, you stop at a there's casino a, on the way. There's a lot of dust. It's a lot of dust. As long as I can put some money into, a, like, a machine and get more money back out. Like, if there's Does some James have a that, gambling problem? I think I'm actually just playing this today. I mean, maybe it's starting yeah. to, like, surface a little bit. Yeah. I don't think so, though, because I don't feel like you spend a lot. If you have a gambling problem, you're spending a lot of money and getting no return. We love are you love Are you spending a lot of money? I'm spending a lot of money, but I'm getting the return, luckily. <laughs> luckily. <laughs> luckily. Maybe Is that yeah. what makes you, uh, whether or not you have a gambling problem? Is like, you, are you, you losing lose money? money yeah. yeah. As long as I'm a winner, I got no problem. I don't know. I don't know what side of that I'm on yet. <laughs> I haven't I haven't felt, like, I've actually felt a couple losses. I was saying, like, last week, and I, I walked away with a good bit. Walked away with like 220 something or 60 something, but I started off with like one. I, I, I gained like 80 or 60 bucks. I think I'm up. So, I mean, I feel pretty good right now. Would you give up if you like lost like a thousand dollars? Would you just be done? 
No. Would you be like, you keep, you'd go uh, back? You'd go uh, back? Uh, so no. that's that's a sign. It's fun to go. I'm gonna bring you and back. I haven't you seen could... somebody shoot a horse yet. They they don't do that. <laughs> Brett said they do that. Why would they do that? When they break their they leg on the track, they, they don't. Sh- <laughs> don't do they sh- Nobody they walks out with a t- loser. <laughs> <laughs> this is the loser horse. I think they like inject it or something, but you they might you might witness a horse oh die. That's what I mean. Yeah. That is something that like could collapse. Happen. Yeah, you might see a collapsed horse. That's pretty morbid. All right. Well, I I, I feel for these two standing here, probably developing their own uh, version of whatever is happening on your legs. Uh, oh, yeah. Trevor, we saved Trevor had a good story too. He went hiking up in the in the boonies, and he didn't even want to talk about it. Griffith Park Observatory. He didn't even say it. anything. He, he said, can't hear you. He was like, I went. It was nice. That was, was a fun walk. Is that how you? Uh, is that how you that's sound? not how you sound. No, it's not. When you said it just now, when you said, "Is that how I sound?" You kind of sound yeah, like it, but that's not, not how you normally sound. sound. But I'm saying that, that sentence is how he said it, though. <laughs> Anyways, there you go. But this, I mean, we're. I guess we, we went on an adventure, and that's what life's all about. Just yep. out here experiencing new things. If you'd like to watch this during our live broadcast every Monday, you can sign up for Rooster Teeth first. You can also watch our 80s themed D&D campaign, Class of 1980X. Uh, otherwise, we're here every Wednesday on YouTube with the, with our our YouTube family at our home. No one can exile us from YouTube. Remember to use hashtag CCTV. To not only even though we're not making we're not making money. Sorry, we're not making money. CCTV, but yeah, even though we're not making uh, money. Again, I was I was trying to say last week. People saw the new cameras. They saw the new VR setups. They saw the four new computers, and they were like, "Man, Calchop is so fucking loaded." They're still very much in the clear. No, we're not. That was actually part of a deal. No, we're not. That's part of a deal that hasn't gone through yet. So we sort of we sort of bought our equipment before uh, we got the deal, which is the best business decision you can make. Not good. Yeah. Not good. No, it's uh. It's we, probably, right, we probably lost, like, uh, what percentage was it? 10? Was it 10%? Or No, it's more than 10%. We lost a lot of money. 10%? More well, than 10%. I yeah. wish I could say 10% as confidently. I'm sorry, yeah. It was way it was more, more than, than 10%. That. It was like 50. I don't even know what everyone's talking about anymore. It's fine. Please support us, though. If you like our stuff, go sign up for Rooster Teeth first. I'm saying we're if not, not well buy off. some merch. <laughs> we're, we're not well off. We're not balling. <laughs> we also don't know how to use our cameras. We're learning. We get kicked out of Chinatown. It's fine. You just Goodbye. made 100 bucks yeah. on the racetrack. Bye. See you next time. Oh, Trevor's just done. Goodbye. Luck, okay, luck. peace out. Okay, I gotta go. Bye-bye. Right. Next time you feel like staying home, but don't feel like going near the kitchen, remember the Tiki Port Chinese Polynesian Restaurant at Hyannis will prepare your favorite Chinese food and have it ready for you in 20 minutes. With pork strips, spare ribs, egg rolls, fried shrimp, chicken wings, teriyaki beef, and shrimp chips. Next time you get the urge for some of Cape Cod's most irresistible Chinese food, dial 771 